Hi guys, my name's Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. So today I want to talk about a film called Vile that actually a few of you guys have recommended to me before. Um, this film is very interesting and I think that a few of you guys might get a kick out of it. So the film bases around nine people who get stuck in a room and a videotape plays for them much in the way the Saw videotape plays to the guys stuck in the room in the first one. But in this one they play a little bit of a different game. They actually have these devices attached to the back of their necks and the woman in the tape tells them they need to hurt themselves to release a mix of chemicals in their body which are naturally produced by the feeling of pain. So they need to get that graph up to 100% so they can leave the room. So to do this, they have to inflict pain on each other. So this definitely sounds like someone who likes torture porn's wet dream. Totally gross, I know. And I was very surprised by this film because it is very, very low budget. And it started off not on the best side of that. It actually had some really bad acting at the start and then it kind of trickled through. There were some really good actors and some really good direction, actually I thought for a really low budget film, but there were some kind of lines that were delivered really cheesily and I don't know, it just wasn't the right fit but I could let that go because the story was actually quite gruesome and quite compelling. Although this is definitely not an original story, the gore in it will have you, I don't even know what to say, vomiting almost. I couldn't watch the screen for most of the movie, I want to say. So if you guys have seen this film, let me know and let me know what you thought during it. For a low budget film, I was really impressed by the special effects and makeup. It all looks very realistic and it's all very drawn out. So it is a little bit slow and especially during the torture scene. So good luck with that. <laughs> but it just really sucked you in wanting to know what characters were gonna survive and what characters were gonna be selfish. Were they gonna play their part or were they just gonna sit back and watch everyone else suffer? A couple of things that I think could have been fixed in the film were the editing was a little bit shoddy in some points, I could get over that, but there was this music thing that really put me off. And I don't know if this is just my taste, so once again, if you've seen this, let me know what you think down below. But there was a music that was just really not matched for certain scenes that they had playing really softly in the background. And I'm saying like intense, like, um, like action scenes that would have like this beautiful song like trying to make it all meaningful and it was just a bit too much and very distracting. I feel like I always talk about in my reviews sound and how distracting I find it. So I don't know if it's just me. Does anyone else feel like that? Another thing that I really didn't like but I think it was more in the writing was the fact that all of the characters explain themselves so much and their thought processes instead of just doing something that kind of dumps down the audience a little bit but it's what's to be expected in a movie like this, I guess. Overall, if you're a gore freak, or you just really wanna freak out somebody on a hot date, check this one out. I have to say that the gore was pretty distressing for me. I don't know if you guys know or have been following me on Twitter, but I burnt the fuck out of my thumb not too long ago with boiling water, and there's this boiling water scene in that that just made me want to die a little bit and it was a little bit too soon. It was very triggering. <laughs> I'm gonna give this one an 8 for scare just purely based on the gore. I'm gonna give it a 6.5 for originality just because I thought it was original in some aspects but it does seem like an extension of Saw in a little way. I'm also gonna give it a personal score of four. Not that I didn't think it was a good movie, it just wasn't my type of film. I do think that some of you guys would really like this one, so definitely check it out. It's one of the better indie ones that I've seen recently. So if you're into supporting that, check it out. I hope you guys are having a great day. Stay spooky and stay away from hot water, cause that shit's terrible. <laughs> See you guys.